Hi, welcome to my new travel blog. This is all about luxury travel, airline travel, hotel accommodation. Because all this is paid for by myself, this is an unbiased opinion. And I'll try to give you open information regarding this channel. This will be my first of many to come. And this is the first video Obviously, we've done the check-in procedures with Singapore Airlines at Sydney International Terminal. And we're now making our way through Terminal 1 to the Silver Chris Lounge. If you'd like any feedback or like to ask me any questions regarding my channel, please feel free to do so. And I'll give you that information at the end of this video. Please enjoy while you watch walking through Sydney Airport towards the Silver Chris Lounge. So we've now entered the Sydney Airport Silver Chris Lounge. As you can see, it's a very warm welcome. To the right hand side, we have the food area. And here we have the seating area with the business class individual pods, which is very popular, I believe, at this lounge in Sydney. Charging points available. You can make yourself comfortable and have some private space. There is a number of seats available in the Sydney lounge and as you can see it's very empty. No, I didn't get a private invitation, I just happened to arrive early. This is the food area and as you can see there is quite a variety of hot food as well as cold food. We have some condiments, we also have some fresh fruit, jams, cream. Here we have some chicken congee, which was quite appetizing. And then moving around to our different sauces we have available on the bar. We also have some yummy scrambled eggs. So from the scrambled eggs, we now have a variety of baked beans and also some freshly baked tomatoes. I'm a little bit early for the yum char selection, but here we have some fresh shallots, olives, sun-dried tomato and cold cuts of meat. are the business class type pods again as you can see there is no one using them at the moment but when the lounge becomes busier these are very popular for individual travelers who would like some privacy to be able to eat their breakfast or do some business whilst they're waiting for their departure
not much to say here. We're obviously entering the toilet area. It does have all the facilities, bathroom, shower, all the products and amenities for your in-between flight or waiting for your next flight. The lounge gives you a good aspect of the east-west runway and for those who are airline geeks it is runway 25 and runway 7. Gives you a good view of the awaiting Singapore Airlines A380, also the arriving Qantas A330 and the departing Qantas 747 Queen of the Skies. So for those airline geeks again, we are now viewing a Qantas A330 300 series. And you can tell it's a 300 series because its registration is VH-Q rather than VH-E for a 200 series. But it is in the old library. So this has now come to the end of my first video. I hope you appreciate what you've seen. If you have any questions or any feedback, please follow and subscribe and wait for my next video, which is the actual Singapore Airlines flight.